Hi everyone, my name is Leah and welcome to the kitchen. In this week's video, I thought I would show you how to make a traditional pasta dish that comes from Rome. It is called cacio e pepe, which literally means cheese and pepper. Let's get started. For this recipe, we will be using some spaghetti, butter, pecorino romano cheese, and I already have some grated, some black pepper, and you will also need some water. Fill a medium sized pot with some water, only about one to two inches in depth. Place the pot of water on the stove and turn the heat on high and cover with a lid to boil. As the water boils, finely grate some pecorino romano cheese. When the water is boiling, add a half pound of spaghetti to the pot. Cook a minute less than al dente according to the packaging directions. Add two tablespoons of butter to a saute pan and melt over medium heat. Add one teaspoon of black pepper to the melted butter and saute for one minute. Right before you drain your pasta, save two cups of the starchy pasta water in a heat safe liquid measuring cup. Then drain the remaining water from the pasta. Pour a half cup of the reserved pasta water to the saute pan. And bring the mixture to a gentle simmer over medium low heat. Next, Add in the drained pasta and add one cup of the freshly grated Pecorino Romano cheese. Toss to combine the cheese with the warm pasta. As the cheese melts with the pasta, it should form a silky sauce. Turn the heat off at this point. Add another tablespoon of butter to the pasta, followed by some more of the reserved pasta water to loosen up the sauce. Stir the pasta with the butter and water until all combined. We finished our cacio e pepe. The only thing left to do is to serve in a small bowl and top with some more grated cheese and black pepper. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you're interested in the recipe, you can click the link in the description box below to visit my website, leahnoelcooking.com. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more delicious recipes.